This video is on real-time operating system. Real-time operating system is the system in which the processing must occur in real time and where the data cannot be queued for a significant time length. It is designed and programmed for a specific purpose. Between operating systems such as Windows or Linux, real-time operating system found in embedded systems has higher response time to external events. Operating systems typically provide a non-deterministic soft real-time response where there are no guarantees as to when each task will complete. Real-time operating system, on the other hand, provides a hard real-time response providing a fast, highly deterministic reaction to external events. Automated missiles and space satellites are powered by real-time operating system. It needs to supply facilities for time-constrained applications that has got to execute within a particular time frame while minimizing delays like latencies caused by interrupts and switching threads. As a result, real-time performance is the main criterion in the evaluation of real-time operating system for most of the applications. At times, you can compromise security aspect for attaining better performance. Simply put, it is a time-bound system that can be defined as fixed time constraints. In this type of system, processing must be done inside the specified constraints, otherwise the system is going to fail. Let's talk about the components. First, we have the scheduler. This is the component that tells which order the task will be executed. This is generally based on the priority. Then we have symmetric multiprocessing. It is a number of multiple different tasks that can be handled by the real-time operating system so that parallel processing can be done. Then we have the function library. This is the important element of real-time operating system that acts as an interface that helps you connect kernel and application code. This application allows you to send requests to the kernel using a function library so that the application can give the desired result. Then we have memory management. This element is needed in the system to allocate memory to every program, which is the most important element of real-time operating system. Then we have fast dispatch latency. It is an interval between termination of the task that can be identified by the operating system and the actual time taken by the thread, which is in the ready queue that has started processing. And lastly, we have user-defined data objects and classes. Real-time operating system makes use of programming languages like C, C++, which should be organized according to their operation. There are two main aspects of security of real-time operating system. First is the security within the RTOS itself. Ability to keep process separate so one task does not interrupt another. This aspect also affects the stability of the system as any threat may lead to a system to fall into an unknown state and cause a system failure. The second one is the networking of RTOS. In this events era, RTOS rarely operates alone. It is usually connected to something, like a monitoring system most likely a supervisory control and data acquisition or distributed control system. Therefore, the security of both intra-RTOS and inter-RTOS communication are important. Once again, this creates numerous ways you could attack the system like code injection. So ensure you have network firewall, ensure sufficient allocation of storage space are provided to prevent denial of service attacks, and secure data storage with encryption.